Hello everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man here, and today we're going to look at a marble game from the year 2010. This is by uh, Marbles Brain Workshop, ages 8 and up, 2 to 6 players. It is called Stomple. And in this game, you are trying to become the last stomper standing. And I'll go over what all that is about right now as we head on over to the gamers table, where I'm going to show you how to play... Stomple. All right, everybody, here we are at the gaming table with Stomple. Here we go. So as always, we're going to go ahead and start off with the components, and then we'll go into the setup and then the actual gameplay. First and foremost, you have the instruction booklet right here. You're going to have your marbles that are in play in a little plastic baggie here. You also have this nice bag, and you, you should have the stompers in there, each stomper with a color on top. And then you actually have the board, which is really nice, solid wood, at least mine is. It's a tray, and then you have the plastic on top here that lays right on top. So when you push the marbles through, it goes down below into this tray where you can store them, which is really, really great. Or just keep them in the bag, however you prefer. Now let's go ahead and show you the setup. Believe it or not, this is going to be a real quick setup. All you do is you take your marbles and you just dump them. Except for ones that fall on the floor, which that one did. All right, just going to grab them and then you're going to make sure that there's a marble in each one of these holes here. Just going to kind of just throw them on there, like so. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, and that's the setup. You just pretty much, or you can take it from the tray and just dump it on the plastic. It all depends on how you want to do it. That's how the setup is, just like that. <laughs> pretty quick, right? I'm going to bring this a little closer for you. There we go. All right, we'll put the instruction book to the side here. Then everyone's going to blindly take one of these stompers out of the bag, and this will, de uh, this will determine who is what color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just, we're going to do a little, little two-player just to kind of show you. This one we got black, so black marbles are going to be mine. And then we've got purple, it's going to be the other players. And then all the rest you're just going to go ahead and keep in the bag. But just to show you, you'll see the other stompers here have the corresponding colors that are in here. You can see there's a light purple and a dark purple, so I'm actually dark purple. That's the, the lighter purple, you got your green, you got your yellow, and then you got your turquoise color. Okay, right now we're going to play with those two right there. Okay. Now the object of the game is you're trying to be the last stomper standing, like I said in the intro. And how you do that is you're going to be punching in these marbles and you're hopefully you will be the last one standing. Now how that works is you're going to determine who's going to go first. We'll say black goes first, okay. When you, on your very first turn, you must choose any of these marbles on the outside row. It does not have to be your own. It could be any other, any color you want it to be. If you lay down a, when you lay down a stomper and there's an additional same color next to it, whether it's horizontal, diagonally, or vertically, then you must punch that as well. It's like a chain. So if you have a chain of the same color, then you have to take all those out as well. So let's just say I want to start off with these turquoise. If I did here, I would have to go here as well because that is a chain, okay? Let's just say I do that. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this out and take this out. That is my first move. Now purple is going to go out, deep purple, and let's just say he's going to go with the red here, okay? Okay, now both players have started on the outside, and now what you do is you're going to make one move. The one move has to be one spot away. So you can either go, like I said, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. If I were to go to this purple here, that's okay, this light purple. I go ahead and punch that through, and that would be the end of my turn. Say I go over here on the black one. See, he wants to try to get rid of my colors in here, because I'm going to go over that real quick. Why you kind of want in a way, want to go after your opponent's colors. He's going to go for the black over here. Okay, and that's the end of his turn. Now, if he decides he wants to go with yellow over here, then like I said, he's going to have to go boom and boom to complete the chain. Let's just say I get stuck somewhere and I have nowhere else to go. Let's just say the stomper came over here 
and took out these here. Okay, let's just say I didn't have any other moves. What I can do is I'm going to use a Star Trek term here. You can transport to any other spot on the board that corresponds to your color. The thing is, when you transport to that color, you must push that marble down. So you want to try to do that as less as possible, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, okay, I'm in trouble. I want to move over here. There's a black marble over here. I can fly right over here. And now I begin one move at a time where I'm at here. Now, in this instance, when you have three like this, that is a chain. So on my uh, purple would obviously go next. Let's so say he does like blue or turquoise. He would have to go boom, 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 and complete that chain. That's how that goes. Say purple's in trouble, purple can do the same thing. But if purple transports to one of his areas and there's a chain, obviously you got to fulfill that chain. So say purple, let's move this over here so you can see it better. If purple was in trouble and they had to go over here, the deep purple, he would have to go boom and boom. He'd have to knock out both those. He'd probably want to go the other direction. That way he can go this way. But that's how that works, okay? Now the end of the game is in two different scenarios, okay? One is if, you know, say uh, black's over here. And let's just say this happened here. He's stranded, and there's no more black marbles on the board. At this point, there's two different ways you can play this game. You can either say, okay, purple wins, end of the game. Or you actually can score points. Now, there's a point system you can, you can determine how far up you want to go in points. Let's go over that point system in case you want to play that way. All right. What? Here, here's a scoring. Okay. So the first player, if in a two-player game, you the first the points needed to win would be 40 points. How the point goes is first of all, you would get three points for winning the round. So that's right off the bat, you get three points. You would get three points for each red bonus point marble left on the board. So you see you got the red ones on there. You notice that there was no red stompers in there. So you would get an additional three points for each one of these red marbles on the board. Okay? And then you would get one point for each remaining color marble on left on the board. So any other color that's left on the board, you get one point for each of those. So like I said, there is two different ways to play. And I think a lot of people play the points because obviously you, I think you want to play more than just once. You want to keep playing until you get points. But that's how that would work. You would get three points for winning the round, three points for every red marble that's out on the board, and then one point for every other color that's on the board. You jot down your, there is no pen and paper with this game, so you have to provide that yourself. And then you keep a tally, and then what you do at the end of that game, you would go ahead and take all these marbles, and once again, you would just dump them right on the board, like so. And move them around so they all just sporadically just find their own homes here. Do, 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 do. Just kind of just throw them in here. Because at this point, you don't know which color you're going to be, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and place it right back on there. You would put these right back in the bag, and you would start all over again with your round two after you scored the points. You go ahead and grab two of these out of here. There's the light green, and then you've got black again. So these two, these two players will go back at it again, play it again. And like I said, in a two-player game, the first player to 40 points wins the game. If there's three players, it's 20 points. Four players is 15 points, and five to six players are 10 points because there's going to be a lot less marbles on that board. And that, my friends, is Stomple. So let's head on over to the game room, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on Stomple. You know, it's a pretty nice little game. I, I do like marble games, so marbles are actually pretty fun. I like how you start off the game by just roll them in the tray, let them find their own spots, because at that point, you don't know what color you're going to be. So it doesn't really, you're not trying to cheat and go, I'm going to put these all in together. Um, you can't do that because you don't know what color you're going to be until you grab in there, you grab a stomper. I like that you can be a different color each round, which is really cool too. Really nice game. I think it's a lot of fun. Very easy, very quick to learn. I'm not sure if you want to go five to six players in this game. I think maybe two to four might be perfect. Five to six. Whew, I mean, how many moves can you really make in a five to six player game? That could be a little, uh, you know, you never know. I mean, but I think two to four might be the, the sweet spot in this game. Um, let me go ahead and give it a thumbs up because I really do enjoy this game. I really like this game. I know um, back in 2010, I remember seeing this at Target. And I remember this game was expensive, if I remember right. It was a good amount of money for some 
odd reason. But now that it's been out for, you know, what, 20, you know, what 12 years now or so, so you can definitely find it at a thrift store or any kind of used um, board game store. You can definitely find it. This one I actually found brand new, so it was still sealed and everything. So that was great, so I didn't have to worry about anything being, you know, missing, because there are a lot of marbles, and you got to make sure that if you are buying this used, I highly recommend you check it out, make sure you open it, and make sure all the marbles are in there, because it's going to be really hard to play when you have empty spots in there. You know what I mean? So that's, this is one of those, a lot of moving parts in this game is those, make sure you have the stompers and make sure you have all the marbles because they can be easily lost if you get a used copy. So hopefully you'll find a great copy of this if you're interested in playing it. Uh, let me know if you have it. Uh, let me know if you don't have it. Maybe you might be interested in it. That would be great. And uh, that is my review on Stomple. Nice, quick, and simple. I like the game. It's very easy and it's, it's a very easy game to teach to have someone that doesn't really play games very often Hey, this is how you do it. You want you move one space at a time. If there's multiple of the same color, you gotta do the whole, you know, the whole chain. Simple as that. You don't want to punch down too many of your own marbles. You don't want to be transporting all over the place because then you're eating up all your marbles. And then when you get stuck, you have nowhere to go to, and then you're out of the game. So then you're and then you're counting up points for the other players. And as soon as it comes down to the final player, who last one standing, obviously they would count all the marbles left over. Or if it's a two-player, you say, okay, you won, which I don't know if I like that idea. I think I like the point system. Uh, that way you just keep, you know, you play two or three, four games of it. And then you're like, okay, that was good. We played, uh, I played this game good enough for now. Good filler game. And, uh, you know, some other time you can, on a rainy day, break it back out again, play it again. It's a great, great game. I highly recommend it. So uh, that's my episode on Stomple. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, flash me that thumbs up. And until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And until next time, happy gaming.